late lady by the name of Felicia Rashad, uh, who's the dean of fine arts at Howard University. Uh, we know her from the Cosby Show. She made some um, supportive remarks on Twitter uh, when Mr. Cosby was released. Uh, she seemed to just celebrate his release, and she felt that justice was served. And then you saw the backlash. You saw um, Howard University was jumping out saying, no, she really didn't mean that. And then she took the tweet down and had to apologize. And and a lot of students uh, have pushed back against her. And I've also read that, that your team has actually come back to defend her. Uh, where does that stand? And, and what, what is your take on all this going on with Howard? Uh, and, and also, I'd be curious to know, uh, if you're able to share the extent to which Mr. Cosby, I'm sure he's given them a penny or two over the years. Yeah, and yeah. it's got to feel like a betrayal that they are sort of being so one-sided on this. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Look, I, think it's, I think it's an egregious behavior with Dr. Fredericks, the president of Howard University. Mr. Cosby would be on the phone with him during the midst of what we were going through with these allegations, during the midst of trials. And he would tell Mr. Cosby, I support you. Uh, we know what this is. This is, you know, this is the president of Howard who would say this to Mr. Cosby on the phone. I'm on the phone. I'm listening. We know what this is. We know that white people in America have been jealous of you for a very long time and they're trying to destroy you. You know, they've given millions of dollars to Howard uh, University. Mr. Cosby has supported HBCUs, but as he said to me, when you have a board that's comprised of some of the biggest corporate conglomerates and where Howard University board gets to have an annual meeting, lunch meeting, board meeting in the headquarters of, a, of American Express, there you go, there you go. When you have people from the White House that sits on your board, at one time it was Ernie Duncan sat on the board, Secretary of Education. When you have those type of individuals, you're no longer, you lose your blackness, you lose your identity. And you will always be uh, at the hands of your oppressor because now they have shown you that the only way you get to eat and eat well is you, if you do what I tell you to do. It's just like with Morehouse and Spelman, we found out that Walmart and the Koch brothers sat on that board and they told them, look, uh, do away with Bill Cosby and we'll make it right for you. And they did it. So it's a great behavior. Look, Ms. Rashad is not only a graduate of the institution, but the statement I put out, if you truly believe in the Constitution, you have to believe in the First Amendment, right? Freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom to assembly, freedom of religion, and freedom to petition the government. Mm -hmm. So what you have said is that we're going to take one of the greatest law schools on your campus now that resides on your campus. You're saying that freedom of speech is only applied when we tell you to speak. Mm. That's a question. That's a question. And also when we tell you what to say. <laughs> and, and tell you when to delete. 